Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the tarot reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Six of Swords and the Four, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Energies for your person, the Nine of Wands and the Sun, the Four of Wands and the Emperor. Between you and your person, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Meeting Energies, the Chariot and the Strength card, the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune the devil and the king of pentacles, the oracle cards, to be fair, and young. Guys, some of you are cold as ice, extremely quiet, in a connection with a person of interest that may have in their mind a plan or a project when it comes to the connection with you, but it seems that you can be of a completely different opinion because what you have seen so far in the connection doesn't feel right. Eight of Swords plus the Seven of Swords. Now, the connection has been powerful for a while. Young Energy plus the Devil. I want to say that you slept with your person of interest and it was quite an experience, but then you also got the chance to see the true colors of your person of interest. And I feel that this set of energies is about a person of interest that can be extremely possessive. They want to own the partner. They want to dictate how the connection should unfold. And they can be clear and straightforward about that. At the same time, I want to say that this person feels to be in a hurry. Maybe they talked about plans for the future way too soon. Some of you didn't like that. Guys, we are talking about some of you that pulled back from this connection big time. You may not want to talk with your person of interest. You do not want to see them. The Lady in the Eight of Swords blindfolded. You didn't pick up the phone when they called you. You didn't reply to their texts. You get it. Six of Swords, High Priestess. Super quiet, crickets flying under the radar, you know. The fool, the fool seems to be a desire to move on. It almost seems to be an unrequited love type of situation, but where is the love in a connection like this one? There can be an obsession, there can be lust, amazing sex. This person wants to settle down, for some reason the connection doesn't feel fair enough to stand. Some of you have been resisting strength card, the opportunity to move forward. The Wheel of Fortune can be a time factor. You can be the quiet one, you may want to move on, you do not trust this person enough. a possessive and controlling individual. There can be even an age gap for some of you, meaning that your person of interest can be older than you. It's like they took a false step, guys. They know that. They can reach out by saying that they are sorry for what they did to you, but you do not trust them anymore. They may have said something to you that you didn't like. They may have treated you in a way that made you feel extremely uncomfortable. I feel that there is also something that is strange if we think about the sexual interaction that some of you got the chance to share with this person. There is something that doesn't feel right, guys. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? Five of Swords, Ego. 
four of swords, silence. I mean, some of you do not want to talk with this person. You want to move on? They can become a sore loser. They do not like to lose. They thought they had you. They wanted to control you guys. They wanted to control the connection as well. This can be a control freak, but a connection with them can become a prison for the partner. Queen of Wands. This person is intoxicated by the sexual side of the connection with you. They got addicted to the connection with you. They cannot let go. You will have to stand in your power. Six of Swords, trying your best to avoid someone that has found a way to become extremely unpleasant and the devil again. We are not joking, guys. This can be a toxic uh, situation, a toxic connection. For some reason, you saw something immediately. It was the best thing possible for you because it prevented you from the opportunity to go deeper in the connection. Only problems can be found. What's the obstacle? This can even be a karmic connection for some of you. Wheel of Fortune, Double Devil, the Four of Wands, Five of Wands in the obstacles. The connection made you guys uncomfortable. It can still be a source of discomfort. It's not a pleasure to be close to this person. Maybe you thought it was, then you experienced something that was extremely unpleasant. It was unpleasant. And this person instead thought that it was amazing. Magician, they still want to pursue the connection with you. Instead, you may want to avoid to take action with them. I feel that this can be a wise choice. Nine of Wands, playing the victim. This can be a manipulative person, guys. If you do not trust them, the connection is already over. It can be necessary to make clear somehow, some way that this person should stay far from you. You know, they should keep a distance from you. You do not want to mess around with them. High Priestess, recurrent energy, this is about you. I stand by the consideration that something happened when the two of you were together. This person did something you didn't like that. You didn't like that. It's like they caught you guys off guard. And as soon as you realized what was going on, deep within you made the decision that the connection was not for you. It was not a right and fair situation. This person can have an addiction to sex. And for some reason, they want you. You will have to be smart and play the interaction in a safe way. Let's ask for guidance. Let's see what we can get. There can even be silent treatment coming from you guys because you are avoiding this person. They do not like that. They do not like that. Three of Wands, turning our back from this situation for good. 
This person thought that you were the absolute one for them, Sun, Ace of Pentacles, plans for the future already in their mind. Instead, you didn't or do not want any part in this connection. Three of Swords, my goodness. What did this person do? Tell me. Seven of Pentacles. Silence between the two of you for a while now. This person somehow, some way can still think that there is time for them to reconnect with you. I wouldn't say that it is the case. There is a concept that is coming to my mind right now, digging deeper and finding out something. You saw something that maybe this person did or maybe they said something. It was a no-brainer for you, the fact that the connection was over in that very moment. Sun energy. So basically, you cannot amplify your inner happiness in this connection. That's why the Three of Swords can be a major disappointment. You can turn your back Three of Wands on this person. You will find better moving forward the full. There is the sun top corner, but this person is going to be extremely disappointed by the fact that you are not going to give in. Eight of Pentacles. You do not want to work for this connection. At the same time, guys, for some of you, this can be a work-related situation and it's kind of interesting, the scenario, because the emperor can be a figure of leadership. Someone that stepped over a line. Guys, in any case, the connection is not good. This person cannot be trusted, a lot of issues, a manipulator to say the least. If not something more challenging, like a controlled freak, or someone with issues about sex and some tasties, let's say, about some practices in the bedroom that may not sit well with you. And so if you got the chance to see something, uh, it was over. I mean, the connection was over in that very moment. If they still find a way to reach out, you will have to keep the interaction super short and kind of make clear that nothing will happen moving forward. And then the silent treatment can become permanent, guys, coming from you towards this person. I feel that it's gonna be the best choice. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.